Hello and welcome to Tech at LLC. My name is Corey and we'll be taking a look at the three-piece puzzle. The first things that you'll have your students do is to get warmed up with SketchUp. There's a section here on the website that will help your students learn SketchUp step by step. It's really simple. It's a free program. My students have really enjoyed this in the past. You can see these are some of the images that I've had my students make and they're only at the seventh grade level. For the three-piece puzzle, the woodworking project, it uses a lot of the machines that are in the shop. You're using the drill press, the bandsaw, scroll saw, mortiser, disc sander, it utilizes the entire shop, and it gives the kids a lot of woodworking experience. But before we get to the woodworking, I have the kids use SketchUp to draw the three pieces. So right here you can download the dimensions of the pieces and then here are some videos that will help the students step by step draw these. It really is easy on the instructor as the videos go through click by click of what to do so it really makes it for a nice project. Down lower there will be some more videos. I think there's 14 in total. This section goes over how to lay out the parts of the puzzle on the piece of wood using a square and a pencil and a ruler. Some of the basic skills that you need to have for woodworking. Here are some more videos on laying out the pieces of your puzzle. It is important that they do these accurately. Once they're laid out, they'll go to the drill press where they'll drill holes in all the corners for their puzzle. After that, they'll take them to the scroll saw where they can cut out at least two of the pieces. The third piece has to be, be done with the mortiser. They've drilled out the corners and then they use the mortiser to drill out the center of the hole. They'll use a disc sander to sand the ends and then they'll put a chamfer on the ends of the pieces to, for a finishing touch. Here's a video that shows them how to put the pieces together, file the inside so they all fit nicely. The last part here is where you bring in the common core. This part goes over how the students should make illustrated directions on putting the puzzle together. They'll use those SketchUp drawings that they made and show directions on how the pieces slide through one another. They'll put those together on a publisher file. I use a card for this and they'll have on the front of the card it'll show them the puzzle already together. On the inside of the car it'll show all the pieces with their dimensions. On the other side of the inside it says how to put it together, step one, step two, step three of sliding the pieces together. And then on the back side, I have them write th about their experiences building the puzzle both on SketchUp and in the shop. So this part really does a good job of covering the Common Core standards and is a good showpiece for them to take home to. For more information on this project, please visit techedlearning.com. Thanks for watching.